Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. And it's a very sweet 2D animation film that was made in 2009 called The Secret of Kells. With, you know, which includes the picture of Asseline inside the tree leaves. Yeah, this was a film that I actually heard about uh, coming from reading the newspaper. There was an article about this film that it was going to be released in Burbank at the AMC Town Center 8. And the director, Tom Moore, the Irish animator, was going to do a Q&A involving this piece of work right here. Um, that's where I heard about this film. I haven't seen this movie until recently because I figured I wanted to check this movie out since I heard a lot of good things about this and coming from the fact that this was nominated for best animated feature in 2010 at the Academy Awards going up against films like Coraline, Up and many others that follow. However Up won the challenge but leaving these films behind, but luckily this film was nominated. But anyway, it stars Brendan Gleeson, who's been in all these Harry Potter films, well, some of the sequels, by the way, and many other films that follow. Very legendary actor, by the way. Ewan McGarra, Kristen Mooney, and Mick Lawley. And once again, it's directed by Tom Moore, the Irish animator who created this. The movie begins somewhere in Ireland, a young boy named Brandon lives in a remote medieval monastery in Kells that's run by his uncle, Abbas Salah. His new life of ventures begins when, when Salah's brother, who is a master eliminator, Aiden, arrives from the Isles of Iona carrying an ancient but unfinished book that brims with secrets, wisdom, and magical powers. To help him complete his magical book, Brennan has to overcome his deepest fears on a dangerous quest to find the magical berries, which is going to be used for ink, somewhere that's hidden in the forest. That is until he meets a mysterious young wolf girl who's also a fairy named Ashling, not Ashley as some people refer to. And Ashling, while didn't want him or insides in the first place, decided to take him there in order to find those berries that's hidden somewhere around this mysterious magical forest that was inside there. So when Brandon came back, he brought in the berries that he was looking for to give it to his master, Aiden, to be able to create some rare colors of ink you know, the, the secret ingredients enough to create the book by drawing all these objects including the eye of chrome a small glass crystal that actually harmed uh, Ashlyn's mother that actually took place not to mention the master almost had it too before it was all lost after being attacked by those strange creatures coming around meanwhile his uncle decided not to have Brendan leave outside of the monastery because of a lot of danger that's going to affect everybody including the Viking raiders that, that came along to destroy the village and many people who actually got killed over there would have that same mistake so he's trying to prepare them for another attack that's going to happen sooner or later but prior to Brendan's quest they're trying to find a way to not only save the book but be able to find a way to to stop the madness from happening so it'll illuminate everything that could happen. And that's what the movie was all about. And I gotta say, the very ravishing 2D animation that they went through for this film. And it was so beautiful to look at. It just takes you back to those days when movies like this were even made at the time. 
And it was an interesting story, considering the fact that this was based on a story called Brendan and the Secret of Kells. It was based on the book about how how his quest was to complete the book of Kells to you know, from mysterious things going around. And you know, meanwhile, you know, they were under attack. Uh, Ashleen is you know, who started out, you know, like your typical, you know, girl. Actually, she's very beautiful when she comes around, you know, moving from one place to the other, you know, inside the forest. <laughs> you know, they even managed to show the scene where they show her face uh, between the, the leaves, you know, kind of like you saw in the poster. <laughs> it was so beautiful. It, it kind of reminds me of one of those uh, animation that you see in the movie, the Thief and the Cobbler, um, for those who don't know, that was a um, that was a 60s film that was unfinished by uh, Richard Williams, the same animator who gave us Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, it does remind me of that too, somehow. It has that feel to it too, if you think of it this way. Yeah, it was the kind of movie that that they definitely had a hard time finding a distributor to release this film and not to mention release it completely yeah and he's been struggling all this time when he created that film yeah, that's how I feel but back to that it's very beautiful you just couldn't get your eyes out of it once you see this movie and, and I always love all the characters in this film especially the master you know, his brother, yeah. he, he does sort of look a little bit like Willie Nelson in that sort of way, <laughs> when you think about that. Brandon Gleason's very good, too, doing the voice of his uncle, you know, Brendan's uncle. <laughs> so it, it was, uh, it's hard to believe that it was him all this time, because he had done a lot of great works. You know, the characters were amazing, too. I, um, I love the kid, Brandon, you know. They had some great voice actors too that's providing the voices. You know, that I think they would definitely do that they would I think they'll definitely do a great job in the future when they wind up in so many films that comes before that. So really enjoy that. I gotta say it's a beautiful film. Definitely check this movie out. It's it's definitely worth watching. In fact, you probably will watch it many times if you get a chance to figure out the story and the influence and all everything that happened over there. You know, it's it's very stunning to watch. I recommend it. So anyway, I give the sequel to Kills five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.